Hi everyone, today we are presenting a Silver Linings Playbook by Carson Zetz and Emily Gonzalez. Pat Solitano from A Silver Linings Playbook is the main character who is diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He was raised by both his mother and his father, Patricio Solitano Sr. and Dolores Solitano in Philadelphia. And his father suffers from obsessive compulsive disorder. And the environment in which Pat is surrounded in is his home with people who care to help him with his illness and try to help him overcome his obsession with his ex-wife, Nikki. The beginning of the movie portrays Pat in a psychiatric treatment center until his mother removes him from this and setting and takes him home to live with his family. So the diagnosis that we gave him is bipolar disorder type 2, which is a cycle between depression and hypomanic episodes that is less severe than type 1 because it only lasts for a few days. And bipolar disorder is what he's actually diagnosed by his Dr. Patel, which is his therapist in the movie, who diagnoses him with bipolar disorder due to his constant mood swings, delusional outbursts, and actions. And we think that in all cultures, this is a common diagnosis due to the impulse that individuals with bipolar disorder act upon. And in many cases, individuals with bipolar disorder have similar symptoms, not depending on their environment or culture. Individuals who have bipolar disorder face a lot of stigma and discrimination. Stigma that lies around bipolar disorder are those with bipolar disorder cannot live alone or function in their daily lives, must be watched over and cared for constantly, and are easily aggressive, and can be used to describe someone who is moody or grumpy. Symptoms of Pap's bipolar disorder is his manic episodes and his emotional outbursts, which are shown a lot in the movie. And one of, example of his manic episodes is when he went to go talk to his old boss from the high school he used to work at, asking for his job back and that he was ready to get back to work and he was in a very uplifted, positive mood and she was obviously trying to avoid him but he constantly was bewildering her and trying to to show her that he was, in quotations, better. Um, and then an emotional outburst would be an example of his trigger when he hears his wife's wedding song He that they danced at their wedding and that he caught her cheating on him with in the shower with his coworker. He hears this and it's a trigger, and every time he hears a song, an emotional uh, outburst begins to occur. Um, symptoms of past bipolar disorder, part two. This is the symptoms that are less likely to occur in Pat, which are his depressive episodes. There's only There was only one example of this in the movie in which he began hearing the song in his head, and his friend Tiffany had to help him out of this depressive state. And another symptom that Pat has that is less than the other two that we just talked about earlier are his um, his sleep deprivation. He doesn't he has a very hard time falling asleep at night and he doesn't really sleep. He stays up late and one example of this was when he stayed up all night reading a book that he disagreed with and he went to his parents room at four in the morning with an emotional outburst and was just so irritated by the ending of the book and woke up his parents. Um, so we diagnosed with Pat with bipolar disorder type 2 because Pat experiences depressive and manic episodes for shorter periods of time. Um, and our treatment plan would be that we recommend Pat to a psychiatrist or a family doctor that could prescribe him the medication lithium that typically helps control mood swings, specifically manic episodes in which Pat has more of rather than depressive. Our ethical concerns for this treatment would be that many ethical concerns following bipolar disorder such as disbeliefs in taking medication for their illness family disagreement, and typically people with bipolar disorder feel that they do not need their medication. And Pat feels this way in the film a lot. He feels that he doesn't need the medication at all and that he's perfectly fine the way that he is and that it makes him bloated and stuff like that. Um, but by giving people these medications and helping them come to terms with their illness, it can help prevent people in their family generations from having bipolar disorder, even though it may be genetic. Um, societal norms, situations, and cultural aspects can also affect treatment of bipolar disorder because a lot of the time people don't want to come to terms with their illness because society has deemed bipolar disorder and mental illness as people who are crazy and incapable of performing regular tasks. And this could really affect the way that they feel about their illness and whether or not they took their medication. And culture and norms as well, as some religions do not believe in the use of medications or vaccinations. And lastly, bipolar disorder in a silver linings playbook it really does come to terms with the illness. It helps people understand bipolar disorder because it does show. Some people believe that it doesn't because it's a love story, but Tiffany, his partner in the movie, does help him come to terms with his illness and make sure he takes his medication. And it does help the understanding of bipolar disorder because it depicts perfect symptoms of untreated bipolar disorder and treated. And it most definitely does show the true effects and 
repercussions of bipolar disorder.